Um, the session that I wanted to talk this afternoon is about physical changes. Mabaliko ya mwili na makuzi. Nafikiri wote tunajua kwamba tunavyokuwa tunabadilika. Mili yetu inafanya nini? Inabadilika. Wote, boys and girls. Na mabadiliko haya ni asili tumeumbwa hivyo. And I'm very much sure hizi topic imeshafundishwa kama sikosee wengine grade 3 or grade, grade 5. Grade, grade 5 and 6. Na secondary secondary form gani? Form 1 eh? Form 3. Form 3 inaitwa topic gani ile? Reproduction. Alafu grade 6, 5 na 6. Inaitwa biology. Right, the topic, topic inaitwaje? Hiyo topic mnakumbuka inaitwaje? Inaitwa puberty eh? Which somo? Science. Oh, okay. very good. Now, naomba mniambie mlioko hapa, wangapi wenu yale mambo mliofundishwa grade 5 and 6 kuhusu science ya kuhusu puberty na yale mambo mliofundishwa uh, grade uh, form 3 mliwahi kuambiwa na wazazi kabla mjafundishwa shuleni? Nasha mkono. You see? Okay. Wangapi mliambiwa na wazazi baada ya kufundishwa shuleni? Wangapi wazazi hawajawahi kuzungumza na nyie kabisa? You see? So you see there's a need to talk about these things because sio wengi wetu tunaongea haya mambo na wazazi. Sasa, haya mabadiliko yanayotokea katika maisha baba yako aliyapitia, mama yako aliyapitia na kuna mengine yanaendelea kwa wazazi wako mpaka leo kwa sababu miili yao inabadilika kwa jinsi ambavyo wanakuwa watu wazima kama mnafahamu mabinti mabadiliko yao kwenye puberty wanaanza kuingia kwenye heavy menstrual cycles jinsi ambavyo mama zenu na mama zetu wanavyoendelea kuwa watu wazima mabadiliko yanaendelea sio kwamba amesimama yanaendelea na nafika kipindi ile hedhi inafanya nini ina stop menstrual cycle ina stop kwa wamama ambao 45 kuendelea huko mbele wangapi anajua jina inaitwaje ikisha stop inaitwaje eh meno menopause kwa hiyo mabadiliko haya tunazungumza sio tu kwa boys and girls ni kwa even men and women kwenye maisha yetu na physical changes zinakuwepo zina nywele zinakuja kubadilika ngozi zinakuja kubadilika vitu vingi vinatokea na the more unavozidi kuwa mzee na wengine mpaka unaanza kupinda mgongo eh? physical changes inaendelea lakini hizi ambazo tunazungumza leo the boys and girls ni more of the age between which age 13 and 14 not only that Not even 12. Nowadays we have even girls goes to they start their MP 9 years. Yes. Kwa hiyo sio tu 12, sio tu 13. Sasa hivi tunakwenda chini. Na kama mkisoma biology vizuri, mkisoma tafiti vizuri, inasemekana kwenye sayansi kuanzia mwaka 2000, every decade menstrual cycle inashuka 4 years down. You get my point? Every, every decade means after t- each 10 years menstrual cycle inafanya nini nashuka kwa there's a possibility mama zenu <coughs> waliingia menstrual cycle wakiwa 13 14 wengine baba mama zetu walianza wakiwa na 17 18 lakini sasa hivi watoto au watoto wetu sisi wanaingia wana 9 11 now let me ask you a question between a girl and a boy who gets the puberty quicker Huh? Yeah? Do you know why? Why? Why are they going very fast? No idea. Viungo vyao vya mwilini vinapokea mabadiliko mapema sana. Na hata ukuaji wa a girl ni ni wa haraka. Na sio tu ukuaji wa physical, 
a girl hata uh, mental maturity yake is quicker than the boy ndio maana wazazi wanaweza ndoa ikavunjika akabaki boy and a girl nyumbani yule a girl ni mdogo kuliko a boy lakini quick she will change to be the little girl she will start being a mother she start cooking and taking care and ask where are you going please come early uskae sana yeah, she start being a mother ghafla quick wakati boy anaweza kawa mwili mkubwa miaka imeosonga lakini bado hapa kuna nyaya zipeleke moto yeah physical change now i want to show you according to eric erickson we have okay we have uh, eight stages za makuzi ya mwanadamu eight stages now let me show you all of them ya kwanza inaitwa prenatal development hii ni stage ya mimba inapotungwa tumboni hivi unajua mimba ikishatungwa akaanza kutengenezeka mtoto ukamtoa kwa abortion ukigundulika unafahamu unashtakiwa kwa nini unashtakiwa na serikali kwa sababu umeua umeua nani mtu uweze kusema kalikuwa kajitu kadogo ah uh-uh. umeua mtu stage ya kwanza mimba tumboni hapa imagine kalivyo hivi ndio kanakuja kuwa wewe stage ya pili infancy to toddler miaka mingapi up to two years hii ndio inaitwa utoto sema utoto stage ya tatu early childhood preschool miaka mbili mpaka sita hapa ndipo wanaanza kwenda preschool nursery school wanafundishwa kuhusu a lot of uh, uh, behavior uh, coming together interactions na nini and less of arithmetic and numbers and letters ingawa huko kwetu mara nyingine hapa kanajua kupiga tebo mpaka ya nane kana komazo akili mapema hii ni ele childhood utoto wa awali unaitwa utoto wa awali ya nne middle childhood hapa ndio sita paka moja. sasa hii inaitwa early adolescent together say early adolescent hapa sasa hapa ndio vijitabia vinaanza sasa vijitabia vile vinaanza physical development achafika 11 hapa kidogo kashaanza kuona vitu fulani kidogo ameanza kuona vi yani ameanza kidogo kidogo na anaweza ku, ku, akienda shuleni anaka girlfriend kake pale pembeni alafu mwingine anaka pala ba karanga anaenda unafanya faya nini kinaanza kuwa kitoto cha mbuzi hapa hapa early adolescence ya tano ndio adolescence yenyewe sasa ndio adolescence yenyewe wangapi wangapi tuko hapa 6 paka 11 moja. Paka moja okay tuna mmoja wawili okay hapa ndio penyewe hapa 12 mpaka 18 wote tuko hapa wengi hapa sasa ndio tindo mzima wazazi wanachanganyikiwa kuna wengine wamewaleta huko wanatamani mrudi kesho msirudi leo jinsi ambavyo jinsi ambavyo fujo nyumbani yani hapa wanasema mauki kwa nini kwa nini saa tisa simfanya hata siku tatu wamewachoka fujo eh unakuta hapa tumekaa wewe masaa machache unakuta tunakutaka kukinai sasa kuna wengine wanakala wewe miaka huko hapa 2 mpaka 18 kuna mpaka 18 hii ndio inaitwa adolescence yenyewe hapa ndio unaanza kuwa na marafiki uasikilizi wazazi unajitenga nao chumba chako kichafu uogi hmm. chumba vumbi ukiwa na umekula ma... ice cream umekula kitu unatupia vitu vunguni ukiingia chumba ndio kwako socks moja iko huku socks zingine iko kule chupi ufui hapa unanusa unaficha na fiche hapa sita ele adulthood hapa sasa umeshamaliza stage ya uchakaramu hapa umemaliza uko hapa ele adulthood hapa sisi ndio wakaka eh chuo kikuu kidogo amekaa paka hapa yuko kazini alafu ya saba middle adulthood hapo ndio sisi middle adulthood ndio sisi wengine tuko hapo alafu hapa 
ndio baki na babu babu unamjua babu yako yuko wapi mkoa gani namfariki na bibi wapi Una waza watoto wasikize hata wajibu bibi aliko yani. Ila muulize baga iliko. <laughs> Au pizza. <laughs> Faisa bibi yako yuko wapi babu yako? Kilimanjaro. Bibi. Kilimanjaro sehemu gani? Same. Wewe mpare. Anyina unaona mkulo picha ya samaki na ugali. Wapare wanachukua ugali naeka hapa afa anapeleka picha. Samaki anapiga tonge afa anaangalia picha ana meza. 